Welcome to the Quick Start Guide for Synesthesia Live. Once you've installed and opened Synesthesia, click the gear to go to your Settings tab. Under Audio, Audio Device, click the pull-down menu to select where you want Synesthesia to listen for music. One of this program's key features is an engine that uses audio data to intelligently manipulate the shaders along to the music. For now, to get you started, select your computer's microphone if it has one. If it does not, you may need to download a program like SoundSiphon to pull audio internally from a program such as iTunes or Spotify. Play a song on your computer. Under your preview window, you should see the audio meter bouncing to the music. Click on the sliders icon to get to the control panel. Now try selecting one of the shader scenes from the list on the right to load it. A shader should appear, and the scene controls will change as they are unique to each scene. You should see the scene responding to audio. If no audio or very low signal is coming in, the scene may be dim or inactive. Try moving scene controls to manually modify the visual output. Each scene has a unique set of controls and visual actions to learn. Now try changing some of the meta controls, which act on every scene in the same way. You can load your own images like logos and patterns. Make sure they are JPG or PNG formatted images and put them in the same folder. Go back to the Settings tab and under Media Folders, click Add Folder. Select the folder with your images. Click back to the Control Panel. Now under Media you should see your images. Click on your image to load it into any scene as a texture. Each scene has a unique way of incorporating user images into the visual. Now to output your visuals. Open your visualizer by going to Settings and under Graphics choosing Show Window. The help bar at the bottom tells you the shortcuts if you hover over the buttons. If you want to put your visualizer on a projector or another screen, you will first want to go to your computer's display settings and make sure you have separate, non-mirrored displays. Once you do that, you can drag the visualizer to another display and press the full screen button under Settings, Graphics, Toggle Full Screen. If you have a MIDI controller and want to map parameters, first check that your MIDI device shows up in the MIDI tab under Devices. Click the blue MIDI icon to start mapping. Click the control you want to map, then press the key on your MIDI device to program the mapping. Click the blue MIDI button again when you're done to complete the process. Under the MIDI tab, you can quickly access, program, and edit all MIDI mappable parameters, as well as delete all mappings for a device. Lastly, check out the developer panel where you can live code while the music is playing to customize scenes or create your own from scratch. If your questions weren't answered here, check out the community tab for links to more information. Hop over to our user discussion group on Facebook and post any questions. Our website also has an FAQ as well as links to resources like SoundSiphon. Have fun!